Oh my! What was that? All right, guys. Vampire Kangaroo Insight. Welcome back to Call of the Wild. As you can see, we are back in Medved Tiger. And that's for one reason only. I've missed the map. I've missed it loads. I really wanted to play it. And because in the UK as of late, it's been so hot. I just felt like I wanted a bit of a change of maps. I've been playing quite a lot of Leighton Lake. And every time I play this, I've said it multiple times in videos. Oh. Don't move. Okay, I did use the right bolts. At least I think I did. I used the 300s. Good hits too. And it's down. Okay, I see it. Okay, nice. I don't think I could have started the episode any better than that. But I was going to tell you guys. I've missed the map. I felt like playing it today. And I've just got an achievement. Let it fly. I wonder if that's a new achievement since they've... Or since the last update. Alright guys. I don't know if you can see it. We got ourselves another Lynx. It's down. We got it. It was so weird. I had to just kind of cut off when I was talking because I heard how close this Lynx was and I wanted to get into cover real quick. So nice. Two for two. Again, the episode couldn't have started any better. So I don't actually know what I was saying to you guys, so I'm going to go over it again as to not get confused to what I've said in the video. So let me just check what we got real quick. Okay, nice. We got ourselves a little silver. Thoracic spine. Lumbar spine. And that moose is coming in. Let's back up. Oh my, what is that moose doing? Oh my god. Right, let's back up a little bit. Let's back up, back up. I don't have the backpack with me today, so I'm going to make a lot less noise. Can I hide in this bush? Of course not. Don't be an idiot, Fooster. Right, we're just going to go for slot number three. I'm going to try and take this thing down quick. Good night, sweet moose. Oh, there was a musk deer as well. Okay, so we're back. I've moved away from the area where I was. There was just so much happening over there. If you're wondering where I was, I was like here. And there was so many animals, like a, a ridiculous amount of moose. So if you are looking for moose, then I think this would be a good spot for you guys. It's pretty much furthest north of the map. But I wanted to tell you all what I've got in terms of a loadout today and the reason why I wanted to play Medved. First of all, when the DLC pack came out, I noticed a few of the skins, which would be perfect for this particular map. And that's what we're rocking today. So slot number one, I brought out the recurve bow again. A lot of people don't actually like this, which I'm really surprised at. I really, really do. I think it's a really nice addition to the game. And I love this skin. If I was to buy a bow or a recurve bow, if I was to pretty much buy this bow, I would want this variation of it. I think the kind of two colors of it complement each other so well. And I just think it looks so sick. Slot number two, which you've probably already seen, is the crossbow, and it's the Arctic skin. And I did say in that previous episode that this thing would suit this map so well, and look at it, guys. It just does. It looks so good. The one thing that I've got a bit of a regret about now is that although I love the kind of fur camouflage or the clothing, I wish there was like a snow clothing as well. I don't know. I just think it'd go really well with Medved. Slot number three, though, because I didn't have the firepower that I needed in previous episodes. I decided to be sensible today, just in case we see something that we really, really want. I could use the 338 just as a backup. So that's what we've got today. Now, I do want to try and see if we can find some grizzly bears. I want to see what the recurve bow and the crossbow, uh, cross, crossbow? <laughs> crossbow primarily could do to a grizzly bear. But where we're heading right now is just to a question mark, because I was fairly sure that I got all of the blinds Unlike pretty much all of the stuff off Medved. But then I saw this. And it's an area that I've not been to before. That's actually really close. I should have, if it's the purple bolts, there we go. It should be the small game bolts. Which I'm hoping are the right bolts for a muster. Oh! I have no idea what I've just shot at. I... Was it a musk deer? 
Right, I need to find this thing. Because that had a really cool fur or skin. Where did you go? Oh, it is one of those. So, I know you guys laugh at me when I say this. I call it albino. And I know a lot of people hate the way I say it. But it's just something that my brain automatically goes to. Albino. I don't think that's what this is. Is it a piebald? It's piebald. It is. Piebald musk deer. I do get a lot of messages from you guys on Twitter saying that you found piebalds, you found <laughs> albinos in the game too, which I do get really jealous at because I never ever see them. But I mean, I'll take it. We get 100% integrity. Yeah, we did. So I did use the right, I did use the right bolts on that, the 300s. See if there's any more. I mean, you would expect that kind of variation of musk deer to be on Medved Tiger. See if I can actually get eyes on this thing. Okay, we're going to leave that. I'm actually really happy with that, though. I didn't expect to see one of those today. But that's kind of what and how I've been playing Call of the Wild lately. Because every time I've started a video up and I've said to you guys, this is what we're going to look for, I never find it. And it's always the way whenever it comes to me playing Call of the Wild. What I'm going to start doing from now on is just play the game, and if we come across something cool, then amazing. If not, I'm going to go in with a plan, but, you know, it's probably never going to work. So let's see what this is. We're only 50 meters away. It is a blind. Okay, so maybe that bug's still in effect. I know for a fact I spent like a day going through all of the blinds on Medved, but it wasn't even showing. Look, it's still kind of shaded out. I don't know. I don't know what this was either. I didn't even see that before when I was up there. Okay, we're going to go around this area of the map because I know I've seen grizzlies around this area before and it's actually a really good spot for a variety of animals. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, guys, we're back. Now, I want to let you all know what's happened while I've been playing Call of the Wild for the last hour. Now, when I last left you guys, I was traveling to an area that I wanted to check out because I've never seen it before. I'd never actually explored that area of the map. And there was nothing. And I mean nothing. No animal calls, no prints, nothing. So I left the area and then traveled kind of to the bottom right of the map, which this area where I am right now is called the tundra i don't know the first name of it i can never pronounce it let me see if i can show you guys the mammon tavaya tundra butchered 100 percent butchered that name i just call it the tundra and this area has always been really good for bears and as you guys have just seen i ran into a huge group of reindeer which is one of the animals that i really don't have any luck with so i'm just going to take my chances and i'm going to go to this lake this is the one I generally go to. This is where I find most of the animals. Usually bears, but like I've just said, in this case, it was reindeer. I'm going to go to this one to see if there's anything else. And I think we're going to work our way around up to this one. That's generally what I do with Medved Tiger. Because of how dense everything is and how hard it is to see the animals in this map, I use the lakes a lot more because it does definitely help out. So I think I'm going to keep traveling to this lake and I'll bring you guys back if we find anything. I'm hoping for a bear. Fingers crossed, because I've been playing a long time now. I deserve a bear. That is a very big brown bear. All right, which direction did you go? Over here somewhere? Right, so there's animals down there. That's normally a good indicator that they're kind of grouping up. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit in this tree, or at least these bushes, and just make a few calls and see if I can bring this bear out into the open. That looks like a very big brown bear. 
Okay, I think I can hear the bear. It's over here somewhere, at least that's where I think it is. I thought I heard it over in this direction a second ago, but it must have moved round. Right, let me make one more call, see if we can bring it out. Like I said to you guys, I think this is going to be a big one. Now, what I should really do is grab the 338, because I'm much more confident with that rifle. But I did want to test the crossbow. Let me just double check that I've got the right ammo put in. 600. Yep, that's the same one. Okay, I'm getting nervous now. I want to take this thing down straight away. This is a quick note as well. I would never do this. If I ever saw the prints of a bear that I think is going to be big, I would never do this. It'd be terrifying. Come on, bear. Where you at? Look, can you guys hear that? Every so often, I'm going to keep really still. Every so often, you can hear that, like, flat foot stomp. There it is again. It's there somewhere. It's directly in front of us somewhere to the north. Let me just scooch over a little bit. Please don't run away. Please don't run away. I can't tell if it's caught on something or if it's just nervous about coming in. Can't really see with the crossbow. That again is the one downside of the crossbow. It just gets in your face. Like this bear's going to do to me in a second. Wait, is that it? There it is. There it is. We got it. <gasps> okay, I held my breath then. Because as soon as I wanted to take the shot, that stupid bush flicked in front of my sight. Now this was at least what I think. It was a gold. Okay, nice. So, we managed to get ourselves a gold with the crossbow. So, the weight was definitely worth it. I can't tell you guys, like, how many times today I've heard animals in one area and then they've just moved off. It's been the weirdest thing. I think I get that more in Medved than I do on any other map. All right, let's go through the stats then. Male, weight 376.87. Cinnamon. I don't know if I've seen a cinnamon on Medved. I've definitely seen them on Leighton. Tracking distance, 300 meters or 350 meters. Difficulty, 7 very hard that's why it was being so stubborn then in that tree line it knew not to come in so what have we got trophy rating 25.4 i don't know can you I, I really can't remember off the top of my head i've got this chart from the longest time which basically goes through like bronze all the way through to diamond and i always forget what it is i know i've seen really high level bears on medved but i don't know if I've ever seen a level 7 very hard before. I think I have, but it might have been on stream. So we got 100, 100, 100. Score 860. I think it needs to be over 900. Again, I could be wrong with that, guys. Don't quote me on that. It's been a long time since I've looked at the actual graph. Okay, so I mean, it's a gold at the end of the day. We'll take it. All right, let's see if we can get a few more animals then before we end. Today's actually been like a real test of patience for me. Because usually I get to see quite a lot. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my way to this lake. But what I might actually do before that, because you can see the time now, it's like 5 o'clock. I've been hunting all day. So I might make a quick stop at the outpost, grab a few supplies, and then we'll head to this lake. I've actually got a skill point that I might put in too, so I'll see you guys in a second. Alright guys, so we've there or thereabouts reached our next destination, which is another lake. I think I see some animals just over there, but before we take a look at that, I do want to take a knee. Just hide for a second and have a look at the skills, because I do want to continuously keep pumping the skills so I get more indications of where the animals are, what type they are. And let's see, I think the last one that I pumped was Ambusher. Yeah, it was this one, Sight Spotting. So that's the last one that I got. So let's take a look at Stalker then. I like to kind of change it up a little bit. So tier 4, Disturbed Vegetation, reveals a new track type, Disturbed Vegetation. Animals sometimes produce these in between other tracks. This makes it easier to follow the trails of difficult animals, reveals animals' fur type when combined with track knowledge skill. So we have that one. So this actually might not be a bad one to get. What's this one? Wind Prediction. Level 1 unlocks the ability to detect the general wind speed. Level 2 unlocks the ability to approximate the general wind direction. I don't really care too much for that. Because I played around with the weather stuff before, the ones that I've already unlocked. And I don't really care too much for them. What's this one? 
Startle Call unlocks the ability to stop animals in their tracks for a short time by making an unexpected noise. Perfect for when you're ready to take your shot. This actually might be the one I get. After a short duration, the animal will realize that something is wrong and flee. The more difficult the animal, the faster it's realization. Okay, so normally, if you guys don't know what this is, by the way, usually if an animal is startled, if you come out of cover or if you make a noise and it startles it, it generally will just run off. But I think what this skill does, it gives you a tiny little bit of time to react and take the shot. So it could actually be the one I go for. Yeah, I think I might get that one. The problem that I've got at the minute, guys, I'll tell you all what's going on with the skills. If I go to Ambusher and I show you this, look underneath where it says the actual title of the skill. Spend a certain amount of skill points to unlock this. They're just getting more and more expensive. Look at that, nine skill points. Up here is 13 skill points. But I mean, I'm going to keep trying for these because I definitely want them. So I think for now, we're going to get that one. Unlocks the ability to stop animals in their tracks. Startle call. I'm going to activate the skill as well. First, though, I'm going to have a look around. See if I can see anything. Okay, I'm slowly trying to tempt in a group of reindeer. I think one's actually really close. There's one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to aim, and I'm going to use the call now. That's really cool. Oh, my God, I love that perk. Do you guys... Oh, oh. <gasps> That's the only thing about the crossbow. It's so slow to reload. I nearly called it a crossbow again then. All right, where's, where's, the, where's the reindeer we got? All right, I just panicked for a second because the reindeer just kind of ran off and it didn't show any signs of wanting to go down, but then it just did. But I actually used the wrong bolts. Look, I didn't get integrity with this. So I should have used, I think the 420 bolts, which would have kept integrity on it. I mean, just for that purpose, we were tested the brand new skill. And if you didn't hear it, I'm going to stop for a second and let you guys listen to it. So let's say for argument's sake, we're using a rifle and something comes in really close and we want to get like a broadside shot because you saw how the reindeer lifted its head. If you press this skill, oh, it's different. So the first time it was like clicks. The second time was a whistle. I really love this new skill. Okay, I need to test it some more. All right, I think what I'm going to do is just keep heading this way. I'll be back with you guys in a second. Okay, here we go. Let's try it again with the reindeer. I've managed to bring, I think it's the same group back towards my location. All right, ready? There we go. Oh, that's so good. It's like a distraction to freeze the animal in place while you get that shot. As long as you have some sort of idea where you're going to take the shot, then it just helps that little bit more. I really like it. I would recommend this to you guys. I think it's called Startle Call. That was what the, st uh, the skill was called. All right, let's see how we did. I did use the recurve bow then too. All right, can we grab it? Just a bronze, thoracic spine. I mean, all in all, we're just testing the new skill. That was a bear call? That did not sound like a bear. Okay, so I found the bear that made that really weird vocalization. At least I hope I keep it in the video because it gave me chills, guys. I had never heard anything like that before. But she's just down there. She's eyeballing me too. She knows I'm hiding in this tree. Let's make another call. Try and bring her in. I do want to test to see if the recurve bow has the same effect on these bears as the one that it does on Leighton Lake. Because it'd be interesting to find out. She's actually a really cool color too. It's like a deep brown. Though she doesn't know what to do. There's a couple of moose up that side as well. They've been acting really weird. I could probably take a shot from here with the crossbow. Where's that musk deer making all that noise? Whenever I want those things, they're never around. Look, is that another bear? Did I just see another bear coming in? For a split second, I thought I saw like the light fur. Wait. Yeah, it is. There's a second bear over there. All right, so I'm just gonna hold out for a second and see what they do. If that other bear can come in, then I'm gonna take a look at the sizes of the two. Oh, she's making a move. 
Yep, looks like she wants to find out what the noise is. Where's the other one? I haven't seen the other one for a good few minutes. She's so broken. All right, here we go. Okay, so it still works even if you need to stand up. Fairly certain I got a decent shot then. I've got to remember with the recurve bow too, it kind of rises up. I don't know if you guys heard that then. It was like the click noise this time. This bear is completely freaking out, guys. Like, she's done like three laps of this entire area. Is that a musk there? It is. Would like to... <laughs> oh my... What was that? Oh my god! Honestly guys, I have got goosebumps running up and down my arms and at the back of my neck. I have never ever heard a bear, if that's what it was, make that noise. I didn't actually see what it was. Oh my, I hope I caught whatever it was. I'm so freaked out by that. I thought I heard something in the bush. So I wanted to get a little bit closer to investigate, and then all of a sudden it was like a horror movie. There was like a growl noise. And then something sunk its teeth into us. What the hell was that? Oh my god! That was such a bad jump scare as well. I'm sweated. Sweated so bad. Alright, I need to take something down now. I need revenge. You. Go down. What are you doing? Oh, she's down. Okay. The whistle. The whistle was the final blow. I'm still trying to get over what that noise was. That was so horrible. I don't know if they've added that recently, guys, or I've just never come across it, but that, that was horrifying. All right, let's see what we got. I actually don't even know... Wait, is that the bear? I think that's my bear. Maybe it was the same bear that I shot at that was actually waiting in the bush. Wait, let me just go back to it real quick, because if there's any tracks, that'll be obviously the best indicator of what was in there with me then. But I couldn't get a clear look. Okay, she's down. I've got a feeling it was her. Such a weird area though, right? Let me see if there's any tracks. This is where it happened, like right here. There's no tracks. And that's that was just a moose. Trying to deliver the final blow. What are these? So the bear tracks are here, but it wasn't here where it happened. It was back in this one. Because I jumped out straight to the right here. Unless the tracks just are not showing up. Yeah, look. The bear's only been around this side. Okay, let's finally collect you then. All right, what do we get? Yep, yeah, exactly what I expected. 0% on this. 75% integrity bonus with the 540s. So, I mean, they're not too bad to use on the bears, but if you want full integrity, then you don't want to use the recurve bow. Oh my god. I'm still in shock from that. I have no idea what it was. It was most probably the bear, but the fact that that noise is something I've never heard before, and I've played a lot of Call of the Wild. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think, guys. But for now, we are going to win. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And I'll see you all in the next one.